class guitarists will do their bit to keep the old flame burning in Auckland this Sunday. They say good things take time and it's taken over three years of work to organise six great guitarists for one evening. The first World Series Guitar Festival was the original idea of Kiwi musician Gray Bartlett. And one of the highlights on Sunday will be Martin Winch, whose recent album Espresso Guitar just spent three weeks at number one. I'm really thrilled for the guitar that it, that it can still do that. It can overtake so many other CDs and go straight to the top with, with, with guitar music. This Sunday will be a major event, particularly for guitar enthusiasts. But for those who lost touch with the traditional round-the-campfire instrument, it seems the music scene is rediscovering the glory of the guitar. We're starting to get interested in really good playing, people who play the guitar really well, as opposed to the, I guess, and this is not meant in a derogatory sense, but as opposed to the Hendrix type using all the pedals and stuff, I think people are getting back to the pure guitar sounds, and uh, there's no question that that's come back into vogue again. Are we good at it, in general? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's lots of great guitar players. In Auckland alone, there's you know, maybe 20 really good guitar players. It's a shame there isn't more opportunity for them, you know. American guitar virtuoso Leo Kotke is an act that's expected to draw a big crowd. And Australia's Tommy Emmanuel will also be on show. The organisers hope to make the two and a half hour guitar extravaganza an annual event. Bernadine Lim, 3 News. Maybe some other Kiwi guitarists could uh, participate in that next year. Anyway, that is all good news, isn't it? But here's some bad news for anyone who can remember the release of the Big Chill as if it were yesterday. Well, the news is you're getting old. That was 15 years ago. I am too, so it's cool. And the anniversary has been celebrated by the movie's re-release. And once again, baby boomers are flocking to see it. Mornings. You might have heard the album playing, but it's likely you've never heard of the man behind the music. His name is Martin Winch. These are the fingers behind a number one triple platinum album. Not a bad accomplishment for a guitarist who used to make a living playing jingles and has never had formal lessons. But Martin Winch is getting used to the sound of success. We were having a, a meal in a restaurant last night and they started playing my CD. And I, I, I'm not uncomfortable with it, but I actually probably rather hear something else while I'm out eating. Winch has strummed his way through the pub scene, backed international bands and had a couple of his own. But it's Espresso Guitar, his collaboration with the NZSO, that's given him a shot of the big time. Volume 2 is currently in the top 10. Like Espresso 1, it's gone platinum, and there's huge overseas interest. For each album, around 40 demos were recorded. The challenge, finding pieces that don't need lyrics to sound good. The melody has to be able to transfer from the vocal to the guitar. Uh, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't and uh, that's quite critical for me if I can't feel something in it, it it'll sound bland I just know that you know at this stage there are no plans for volume three Martin's instead hoping to record some of his own work he has thousands of ideas that he hopes will sell just as well the nicest things that have happened to me from making these records are uh, telegrams and emails I've had from people, sometimes lonely people, people living by themselves, people who've got great comfort out of this, these recordings. Winch even has ten guitars and he plays them all. I don't even have any fingerprints left on this hand. The police would have a hard job with me. <laughs> might not have any fingerprints, but he's definitely got his own identity. From culture to Kylie, we should be so lucky that neighbourly Aussie called Minogue is about to release a new album. Spinning around is the first single from it. Kylie reckons she has a whole new image, but the hot pants seem just as brief. 
Over the past two decades, Kylie Minogue's spun in and out of the 